gonna be fine He got the city on his back and I got him on mine You Come think on. I'm lying? Shit, step one, got the villa on that Shit, I predicted in my raps, I done did all that yes. Next, please, eat rappers, mm, check, please Here's a tip why niggas grip my testes You wanna shoot, then shoot, don't play with me Hardest shit out the South since slavery Stop, 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 stop J. Cole is out of control And he just dropped what could possibly be the album of the year the off season and he is really applying pressure to the rap game and this is exactly what i need in my life when i'm punching the clock i don't want to review this album this early i want to give cole all the respect in the world because he worked years on this project so i'm not about to give a half-baked review after a couple listens but we most certainly can take a look at some interviews some new and some old to break down the climb back to the top for J. Cole and what's the mentality that he possesses to make him so successful and so beloved. Just like many other greats, J. Cole's secret to success is the off season. And we'll get into that in a few, but if you're new to this channel, please make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell notification videos because I bring you the why behind the success of the most influential black people in our culture every single Tuesday. Now let's hop right into it. Principle number one, R-O-R-O-C, baby. Relationships over competition. Like the competition part, I've stripped away and I'm now on some shit like, man, I'm more interested in the relationship because I also see a time when I'm not doing this. That seems very realistic to me. And in a time mm -hmm. when I'm not doing this, I, I, I would, you know, I don't want to be like, damn, I never fucked, I, we never kicked it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, we never really even did nothing. So like, I, I'm, I'm at that point where it's like, I'm more interested in the genuine relationship than mm -hmm. before I was interested in the competition. See, pride is the devil. And if you let it take control of you, you'll never be able to foster good, healthy relationship with your peers. If all you do is think about competition, 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 I mean, certainly competition matters and it can make you better, but so can having relationships with good people. So choose relationships over competition at some point in your life. ROC, which leads us right into principle number two, appreciation and love. Realizes like the, the monetary, the material, even the success, and like the things that you put your, you place your importance on, uh -huh. never can satisfy you and ever make you happy because they never end. There's never, you can never, there's no amount of money that will ever make you stop if money is what you care about. That's a fact. 100 million, I'm still on the grind. We all can relate to that because more money never really satisfies me. I'm always looking to do more. I got a million, gotta get 10. Got 10, gotta get 100. Mm -hmm. Got 100, gotta get five. Got five, gotta get a billion. If it's cars, you'll never have enough cars. If it's success, you can never get enough of that. I realize that it's like, it doesn't stop. It keeps calling you, it's like a drug. He right. We get caught up chasing ghosts sometimes and we never find true peace and happiness. It's a hamster wheel. It's a hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're never satisfied. But if you place your importance on this, which is like, Appreciation. Appreciation, love. You know, it's like that, that is, that is enough. You can get it, chase dreams, have goals, keep the hunger on hillside. But appreciation and love at the end of the day is where it's at. Not that monetary superficial value stuff, man. Principle number three, happiness matters. Make that decision, like I look at these artists, I ain't gonna say no names, but I look at them and I'm just like, bruh. You're not happy. I can tell when I speak to you and I see your interviews. I can tell by I know that you're not happy. Let me readjust and reanalyze what's important to me. Is it this shit out in Hollywood, or is it what I got back home? I want this, but I will not. I refuse to to have this without this, and I'm gonna make sure I get there and still have these things. These two principles are very close in value, but the message is so important to drive home. Who cares if you're successful? Whatever that means. If you aren't happy, apply principle number two to get yourself to principle number three. Principle number four, Nobody build. in the industry expected it. I didn't even know I was gonna do those numbers. Um, and what that was, was just a result of consecutive nonstop touring and also a combination of releasing free projects, which was really albums. So you, you take these mixtapes, these classic mixtapes mixed with my touring, you develop a real fan base the music business 
didn't know that. The industry didn't know that. So what we learned is a real solid fan base is way more important than a, a record at radio or in the clubs because you have rappers right now who would love to switch positions with me, but they're way hotter than me. They got way more songs than me on the radio. They got way more songs than me in the club. Success I is a long road, longer than 95 South. And in order to really have longevity, you need to have a solid fan base foundation. I talk about building the audience a lot here on this channel because it's so important. If you have the fans, you don't need a record label, a boss, or anybody overhead. You can literally say, let go my hand, and you can do this all on your own. A strong core brings you independence. Principle number five, find purpose. My purpose is too much placed in music. Mm. Where like I put too much of my purpose in music to where when I'm home and I come home, outside of like playing with my son, if I go three days without doing music, making a beat, writing a song, I start to feel like miserable. And I feel like it's because I haven't put, uh, I haven't um, found purpose or placed purpose in other things. I don't care if it's taking out the garbage, doing the lawn. Like, there's certain things that people excuse you for, excuse you from doing when you like, when you're chasing something or like you, you, you have a career like this, where it's like, you know, I got people that handle my, my business, mm -hmm. my affairs. I was with Kevin Hart when we were shooting a video. Mm -hmm. This dude is approving all his invoices, looking over all his checks, wow. breaking down the budget to me. And it's just like, in that one act, there's so much purpose in that act. He's decided that this is important to me because, what? Well, feed my family uh i remember a time when i couldn't get these checks so i want to make sure that every dollar that I'm, I'm owed is coming to me i'm assuming i'm just putting words in his mouth but regardless there's purpose behind that act right mm -hmm. with me i feel like i need to literally restart and find purpose in like small things whether it's that approving all my checks that are going out right now it's like my wife is doing that and like, I, I'm cool with that. Like, oh, she, she's on it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I just gave up. Something that I could have had purpose in doing, I gave it away. But you can't do everything, but you also can't do everything. I'm not saying that I can. Right. What I'm saying is, I can't just do one thing mm. and then be a dad mm -hmm. and a husband. No, I want to do Because the second shit. that doesn't do exactly what you wanted to I'm do. I'm miserable, that's yes. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If I go three, four days without yes. making a song and like, I start feeling, I'm like, yo, that's- You put too I much wanna, weight. I, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I'm putting too much weight on these things when it's like, yo, I want to just, I go play ball too. Like, I want to just play. And I and, and this is just the most recent pocket because I just dropped the album. So I'm noticing it. But, you know, it wasn't like this last year when I was just- In the crib. In the crib <laughs> chilling. But the fact that I'm noticing it, it gives me an opportunity of like correction. Yeah. Figuring out what that's coming from. So and then dumb. ultimately my, my, my findings were that like, yo, I need to find- purpose and smaller things and, and build up from there ah daily purpose find something to give your focus and energy to daily so you are constantly growing in different ways and you're not obsessing over one singular task diversify your efforts essentially shoot take a brief interlude and get yourself together to find that purpose daily j cole has had such an amazing career and it's been a blast watching this guy's career blossom into what it is today. And to see him put out an album like this, where he sits aside all the humbleness and he talks that talk like he does on Amari. <laughs> huh? See, you didn't think I was going to get that in there. I did it. I got all the song covers in there. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Culture Breakdown. Again, if you're new to this channel, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell notification button. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. We can have all kind of deep conversations over there. Hit me up if you guys ever need anything, have any kind of suggestion. And until next week, I'm out.